Fires happen every day. The damage can be incalculable. No one wants to think about it, but the risks are all too real. What would happen to your critical business systems and irreplaceable assets should a fire break out? We decided to find out. Suppose this office contains your company's most critical equipment. Information, technology, data, records, and files. You think you've taken reasonable precautions. You've met all local building codes. Like most companies, you've installed an automatic sprinkler system designed to release water only after a flame has grown into a substantial fire. Water provides a minimum level of protection for your essential equipment, systems, software, and the irreplaceable information your business depends on to survive and grow. But is minimum protection ever good enough? After hours, suppose an electrical malfunction inside an equipment cabinet causes a spark to ignite. One minute and 51 seconds, the system's detector senses smoke, sets off an alarm, and charges the pipes with water. As the fire continues to grow, the temperature of the ceiling directly above it climbs slowly until it is more than 500 degrees. The equipment inside the enclosure is now completely destroyed. Still, the temperature at the nearest sprinkler head stays below what's necessary to initiate release of water. Nine minutes, 46 seconds. The sprinkler ball bursts. Water is released at a flow rate of more than 18 gallons per minute. The room fills with smoke until there is no visibility. The infrared camera detects the flames contained and shielded inside the metal cabinet. 17 minutes, a firefighter arrives to investigate and finally puts the fire out. The automatic sprinkler system in this office worked exactly as it was designed. After the fire grew large enough, it provided the minimum protection necessary to slow the fire's growth until firefighters arrived to put it out. But the result of this minimum level of protection was an unacceptable level of damage to your business. Chances are, it would have saved your building and the lives of your employees. But would it have saved your business? Suppose instead you had an FM200 waterless system as your primary fire protection system in this room. Suppose again it is after hours and an electrical malfunction inside an equipment cabinet causes a spark to ignite. 32 seconds. The system's detector senses the first whiff of combustion. One minute and three seconds. A first alarm is sounded. One minute and 35 seconds. The system sounds a second alarm and begins a 30 second pre-discharge countdown. Two minutes, five seconds. FM 200 is released. 10 seconds later, the fire is out. An FM 200 system provides maximum protection resulting in minimum damage. After some minor repair, your business could be back in business within an hour. Two fire protection systems, water and FM200. Can you afford not to invest in an FM200 waterless fire protection system?